This is the year of restoration like many preachers, pastors, apostles, prophets, spokesmen, and spokeswomen of God's word. Most of us had no idea what 2020 had in store for us. The unfathomable deaths happened. We didn't think they would happen. We didn't know they would happen. We did not understand that this year would happen this way. And if that if that wasn't if that wasn't enough, we had this little thing that 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 was known as a virus. Pop up, it popped up, it popped up, it popped up. A little 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 thing known as a virus. Some, some and so and so it was COVID-19 coronavirus, nicknamed uh by the urban folks, you know, Auntie Rona. You know, it, it, we 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 nicknamed it the Rona, you know, and and, and 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 it raised its head quietly shh, with a cough. <laughs> with a sniff. That it is infected, affected the entire world. The world shut down. And then if that was not enough, there was George Floyd's untimely death. Where the pandemic that has plagued our land for over 400 years, the pandemic of racism, come forth. No one knew that 2020 was going to be so loaded with certain uncertainty, predictable unpredictability yet still filled with political posturing and warring between the left and the right. Everybody's trying to figure out what happened to my vision. The truth of the matter is we are right on target. <laughs> I know somebody just rolled over in their bed and just said, huh? oh, Paul was writing to the, the church at Corinth because this church was so pivotal it was it was placed at a time and a particular location that it will affect the world. And I didn't come with eloquent speech. I didn't I didn't come. I didn't come with big words. I didn't come with with much. I didn't come to tantalize your taste buds. Uh, I didn't come with all of that. I just came with one word. Jesus. His hand. That's all he preached. Jesus. 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 There's something about that name he said i don't have much to teach you i don't have much to preach you uh, he, he 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 started he in he began his middle and his ending was jesus jesus is the first love if there's no jesus there's no church if there's no jesus there's no power if there's no jesus there's no me what God is doing, you can't understand it with our finite mind. There's, there's things that God is up to, and you got to understand that disruption is a part of his plan. Okay. Anybody has gone to gone to get, get glasses. One thing that they say, do, is, uh, uh, before we go any further, we have to dilate. We have to dilate your eyes. We have to in other words, In other words, we have to disturb your vision. Y'all missing it. Y'all missing it at home. <laughs> we have to disturb your vision in order to improve your vision. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Who am I preaching to? I know, I know there's about 400 people that's watching right now that's at home. And you're sitting there and you're saying, Good God, I thought, I thought this was the enemy, but this was God all the time. God said, I have to disturb your vision so I can improve your vision. Uh, I'm trying to help somebody. So he might disturb your right now, TJ, so that you can have a better ahead and future if i can live longer in the way that i want to god disturb my atmosphere oh, god he never failed me god he hasn't failed me yet and when i look back over my life i realize that god's brought me through worse situations than i'm in right now so if he did it before, yeah, 